Uh, hi, my name is Peter Walker. This is a quick reflection on Hebrews 11.1. 1. A famous verse has meant a lot to me since really taking hold of my own faith in my teenage years. Hebrews 11.1 1 says, Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. That's a powerful verse because it defines faith. Faith is being sure of what we hope for. So you're still hoping for something. Faith isn't a type of a knowledge that removes or renders hope redundant. Hope is still at the core, but it's being sure of what we hope for. Now, what does that look like? I think a lot of us interchange belief or even strong belief with faith. We use them as kind of synonyms and we bounce back and forth uh, a little bit. But faith, uh, the way I've come to really understand it, it, being sure of what you hope for means you're acting on what you hope for. I, you know, I'm uh, faith is belief in action. If you are certain of what you hope for, it, it doesn't mean you're no longer hoping. Paul says in Romans, Hope that is seen is no hope at all. I mean, we are hoping for that which we do not see, and we're accessing it uh, through faith, uh, faith being sure of what we hope for. We're putting our belief in action. Uh, the Bible teaches us Ephesians 1.14, Romans 5. Uh, it speaks of this hope in us being living, uh, us being certain of it because of the outpouring of God's Spirit into our hearts. So, uh, we know in our knower about the revelation of Jesus Christ. Faith is taking a, a belief that he is true and acting on it in our life. And Jesus called us to this a lot. John 8, 31 to 32, he challenged the believers in faith, as it were. He, it says, he turned to those who believed and he said, he who holds to my teaching is really my disciple, and he will know the truth, and the truth will set him free. There, faith is taking what we say we believe and putting it in action. Uh, very simply, um, we believe it's it, it honors God to be pure in our thinking and in, in, in what we look at. Um, therefore, do we put that belief into action by turning away from images that are unpleasing to God and are not right? Or do we believe that it's not right, but we don't change our behavior? That doesn't negate your belief. It means that you're going against your belief. It means that you're not really living in faith about what you believe. You, you are not active in your belief. And, uh, you know, it says in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, we live by faith not by sight. We live by faith. In other words, we act according to our faith, not just what we see and feel. And uh, we actually act on what we believe. Um, and it's a pursuit. It, it, uh, Paul in Philippians 3 talks about straining for that uh, to which we were called. And he says, I haven't already obtained all uh, it. But I press on for getting what is behind, straining towards what is ahead. Philippians 3. Uh, Hebrews 4.11 um, speaks of uh, striving to enter his rest. Again, a pursuit through faith and action. We're trying to really almost aggressively access the treasures of belief that come through action faith, putting our money where our mouth is. Um, and uh, uh, 1 Timothy 6.12, Paul says, fight the good fight of the faith, taking hold of the eternal life to which you were called. There, there, is a, there is action that we are called to, the action in what we say we believe, the action demonstrated in our life, that is faith. That is showing the degree to which you are serious about your belief, the degree to which, Hebrews 11, 1, that you are sure of what you hope for, certain of what you do not see. Therefore, you behave in this way.